Hey, how's it going? I'm going to throw a video on real quick on a project that I've been working on. Now, I'm not done, but I'm satisfied with what I've done so far. What I'm trying to do is build a portable, you might want to call it a flashlight, depending on how big the housing is that I get it in, but I want to buy it, build a light that literally blow people's minds when they see it. So to start it out with, I got a 12 volt battery and I might go with a little bit bigger one, I don't know. Power inverter, a DC to DC converter. That'll uh, boost from 12 volts on up to 35 volts or more at up to 600 watts. And this here is a temperature probe and it'll turn on and off any 12 volt fan, which I have a computer fan right here hooked to that. And right here is a motor control to run a fairly high amp motor. And I'm gonna use that as a dimmer. And then right here is a voltmeter. And it'll tell your amps and wattage and everything. She was actually, I'm pretty impressed with that. And then right behind it here are two aluminum blocks a little over an inch thick and inside them blocks I have 200 watt Cree I think they're XP or XML 2's and they're not the cheap 100 watt LED emitter that you, you can purchase for like six bucks these things the cheapest I could find them was 35 bucks an emitter that's just with the emitter itself it's on a real heavy copper base there's 10 smaller emitters in there on that uh, copper heat sink, which them are rated at 10 watts each. So I've got a total of 20 Crees sitting here. I got this thing actually fired up and everything seems to be good. Now what I'm gonna do is I gotta take this fan and get it behind it because it does heat up fairly rapidly. I'm going to set these on top and I'm going to show you just how this thing works. Well, you can see there, got a, it's sitting at 80 degrees and that probe, if I can find it, right there, locked into that aluminum housing. And here is that voltmeter. As you can see, you got volts, and then your watts, or your power, and then your current, your amps, and then you have energy on there, which uh, I'm not really interested in that. I think that's just multiplying everything up. So I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to turn them LEDs on. I just got them facing the wall. But before I do that, this here is a 10-watt, fully recharged LED spotlight. That's on high. Yeah, pretty nice light, so go ahead and fire up the motor control. See how it just completely drowned that out. Now I'm only at 12.5 watts. There's 33 watts, 40 watts. And that's what I'm going to probably run it at. It's at 71 watts right now. Now, this uh, thermometer, I, or this uh, temp probe I have, you notice that's rapidly climbing up. And we're going to let it sit here and get up close. To, I think I got it set at 99 degrees. That thing will turn on. But so I'm going to let it shut it off a second and show you again that light. That 10 watt LED just completely gets drowned out, even on low. You can't even see the emitter. Pretty wicked. I right, set that fan to turn on at 97. I really like this uh, temperature monitor here. I think it will either turn on at 97 or 98. Light is just 
Basically, you know, all this fit into a, a metal box, and I'm gonna have me a serious light. And I will be putting a video on showing outside just how bright this thing is, but this video itself is just, uh, I guess, give a quick rundown on the components that I'm gonna be using and build the ultimate uh, portable super light that will run for a long time, not no stupid five minute job and the cool factor should be incredible with the displays and everything. So there you go, the start of a super light.